The world is home to many fascinating creatures, yet some of these creatures have proven to be so dangerous that I can't help but tell you about them. Wondered what monsters lurk in those murky rivers? A stabbing catfish? Does it do what I think it does? Number 10. Large Tooth Sawfish I think this is the one fish you can never mistake, even if it's your first time encountering it. The large tooth sawfish has a long snout-like mouth called rotra, with teeth on its side that act as a saw. As an adult, sawfish can grow to 20 feet long and with luck can live up to 35 years. This fish is so phenomenal since it doesn't like to move around very often, unless it's in hunting mode. Its motionless behavior shouldn't lead you to think that it's not dangerous, because its long rostra is capable of sensing the electric field of any living thing. Quite amazing, right? Think of it as a sixth sense because it rarely uses its eyes during hunting. Its saw-like mouth is used to attack its prey and chop them down to small edible pieces, which it later eats whole when completely immobilized. Apart from feeding, the sawfish uses its mouth for defense from other dangerous animals like sharks and crocodiles, which sometimes pose a threat. Unfortunately, these fascinating creatures have been endangered and are on the verge of extinction. Although the sawfish eat fish, you shouldn't dare test them because their snout is sharp enough to cut you. Yes, they don't eat humans, but they'll most definitely defend themselves whenever they feel threatened, an agonizing experience you don't want to find out about. Number 9. Arapaima This is an interesting one. Arapaimas have tapering, copperish green heads, upturned jaws, and black scaly bodies with a white center. These giants can grow up to 15 feet, are extremely aggressive, and able to jump several feet out of the water. In parts of Asia, Thailand, and Malaysia, the arapaima is known for its terrifying attack. The arapaima only feeds on fruits, seeds, and insects, and sometimes birds, lizards, or small primates on trees. It's a good thing the arapaima doesn't have human meat on its menu, but there are plenty of other Amazonian species that will because one perfect strike from it will no doubt send you into the river waters. There have been incidents where the arapaima tips over small boats, leading to accidents, especially in the Amazon River. Well, scientists think the arapaima only acts like that when it feels cornered or threatened, since they have no taste for human blood. Number 8. Stabbing Catfish Sometimes the fish that we see as insignificant are the ones that do the most damage. I'm talking about the catfish. It has a small body that can be about 12 centimeters when fully matured and is armored with a very sharp spike on its head. These spines aren't for decoration, but for defense against predators. As a matter of fact, they can be pretty deadly. Many fishermen always say the sting from the catfish causes severe pain, probably from the poison that catfish has. There have also been incidents of people falling into a ditch after a single catfish sting. If you're wondering where they're found, they're everywhere. I mean, the catfish can survive in any temperature, be it cold or warm. Typically, when the water is below 65 degrees, it always slows down to conserve energy. It's a good thing it's not the kind of fish you'll fail to recognize once you come into contact with it, because the horns are pretty screaming. Number 7. Piranha Talks about the piranha keep going each year, and the one thing that always comes back unchanged is the ability to bite. Well, these terrifying Amazon creatures are famously known because they never back down from a fight and often pick the big guys. I mean, most of the time, they go for prey bigger than their size and surprisingly cause the most damage. Piranhas can grow up to two feet long and feed on fish, bugs, crustaceans, insects, leftovers, and plant materials, making many think they're cute and cuddly. They're not. They have extremely sharp teeth that can cut off your finger before you even notice. If this monster is capable of getting into a fight with a shark and doing so much damage, it's terrifying to even think what it could do to humans. Yeah, they don't eat us, but they just love the taste of blood in the water. In fact, with their tooth structure and feeding habits, scientists aren't sure where to classify them. Number 6. Crocodile for centuries, these beasts have been known for their hunting skills, most of which leave their prey lifeless or crippled for life. Their bites come with significant force of 3,700 pounds per square inch. Trust me, this is way worse than a shark attack. In Africa, these massive creatures have been known to claim approximately 1,000 human lives each year. 
Sometimes it's hard to tell if they really do love their food, or if it's just in their nature. They have very strong teeth, and most of the time you'll find them basking in the sun. Their motionless behavior often tricks prey into thinking that they aren't watching, but the moment they get close enough, they burst quickly and grab onto them. Crocodiles also have a very lethal tail that they use on troubling prey. One whack from a crocodile's tail will sweep you off your feet. As if they don't notice how scary they already are, they can grow up to 8 feet and weigh as much as 1,300 kilograms. This is the kind of monster that, when hungry, can sink your boat just to get you. Number 5. Tigerfish The Goliath tigerfish is a massive and strongly built fish with the largest specimens exceeding 6 feet in length and 100 pounds in weight, while individuals weighing 150 pounds or more have been reported. This fish has long crocodile-like teeth that have evolved specifically to tear portions of meat from other fish. Their predator instincts sometimes show us their worst sides. For example, there's a case where a fisherman was out as is their routine when the Goliath tigerfish jumped on his neck and ended him instantly. This same monster is responsible for almost tearing a girl in half when trying to reach her shiny belt. In the Congo, the Goliath tigerfish is a known culprit. Villagers finally call it the demon fish. I would have called it a vampire fish, but it seems there's already one with that name. I mean, what kind of fish even goes for the neck? It seems kind of personal. Number 4. Wild River Otters The river otter is quite adorable when you see it, and you would never think for a moment that terror it can cause. It has a sleek slender body, short legs, and a long muscular tail that's broader at the base and narrower at the tip. Otters can grow to be 36 to 50 inches long from head to tail. The tail can be 12 to 18 inches long on its own and weigh between 12 and 25 pounds. Their favorite meals are always frogs, fish, crayfish, shellfish, and occasionally aquatic insects. Snakes, turtles, salamanders, earthworms, and small birds. I know, it's got an endless appetite. Now, before you think about having them as a pet, you need to know their wild side. When otters are threatened, their massive muscular physique and razor-sharp claws are capable of overwhelming pets and small children. They're also known to transmit rabies, so scratches from the river otter will require immediate attention. Are you still thinking of having one as a pet? I'm guessing not. Number 3. Electric Eel the electric eel is one of nature's most fascinating and lethal creatures. This fish's skin is scaleless, making it smooth and slippery with a snake-like appearance. They're dark gray on their backs and sides, which helps them blend in the dark waters. Their bellies are usually golden to orange in color, and they prefer fresh and murky water, making rivers their best habitat. Most animals like eagles or crocodiles find this as a good hunting ground but always end up terminated by jolts of shock that amount to 600 volts. Electric eels are peaceful creatures unless provoked, since they only eat small fish, insects, and crustaceans. Have you ever heard of people drowning in shallow water? Well, this is our culprit. Despite them having very poor eyesight, a single touch by the electric eel can leave you motionless and make you drown in the process. Worst thing is that they hunt in packs. If a single eel can overpower a full-grown crocodile, Imagine what a pack of them can do. It's terrifying. Number 2. Praiba It's a large catfish that grows up to 3.6 meters and can weigh up to 200 kilograms. It's more terrifying now that we know how dangerous a small catfish can be. It's no doubt this is the biggest fish in the Amazon, feeding off monkeys, birds, cats, dogs, and other catfish, and even people. Several reports have been made about a giant monster that turns over fishermen's canoes and eats them. Well, that's the Praeba. I'm guessing you've already seen your fair share of horror, but the Praeba is one you didn't account for. The next time you're in the Amazon River, I suggest you watch out for long barbells and red marks on the lips to help you identify them. However, Praeba's most distinguishing features are its genuinely gigantic size. Number 1. Snakehead. This is a strange one for someone who's afraid of snakes. They're distinguished by their long dorsal fins, large mouths, and shiny teeth. The snakehead got its name from the resemblance it bears to slithery snakes. 
These fast-growing organisms are carnivorous, beginning with zooplankton and swiftly graduating to insects, small amphibians, and other fish. Their aggression makes it possible for them to ambush anything that they find, making them the creature of everyone's nightmare. They can survive for up to four days without water if they're breathing air. I know you must be wondering how they can do this since they're supposed to live in water. Let's just say every creature has its own mystery. However, when snakeheads are discovered, drastic measures are often taken, such as terminating everything in that body of water. The reason is that they can survive both on land and water, which might cause a strain on the ecosystem. In the US, the snakehead is banned in some states, which made me think that if the government is spending millions on a fish, it means we've really got a serious problems on our hand. Until next time, adios.